I have a two part question. Sure, sure. The first is could you describe the approximate size of the wound you observed at the back of the head? Would it be, for example, as Chuck Franchow suggested, about the size of your fist when you dumbled it up? Uh, something similar to that. Uh, the, I have to say that, that the wound that I saw uh, and actually was well defined after the scalp was reflected back from it was pretty much in agreement with the, with the um, Parkland doctors. Uh, Well, it's, I think the, the statement from the, it was the, the entire back of the head um, is not really, I think that's a perception. The wound itself, the wound itself was approximately three, three and a half inches long, one and a half to two inches wide, and um, it was, it encompassed M mostly occipital parietal and uh, it again like I said I, I agree with that but in the ma very mathematical exact depiction in the Bethesda autopsy report it is enormous David Lipton has a diagram of the comparison okay. it's like the difference between the heel of a foot and the whole footprint it's that enormous that is, that is incorrect but it's in the no, no. What he state, what he states in the book is that Dr. Humes described it as 13 centimeters. That's approximately five inches. Dr. Humes, I mean Dr. Boswell described it as 19 millimeters. Now the discrepancy there is, and this is purely my opinion, is that when the scalp was reflected, bone adhering to the scalp fell away and fell into the cranium which gave the wound an appearance of being larger than it really was. Thomas Evan Robinson, who prepared the body for a funeral, was present when he said he saw Humes take a cranial saw to the skull of JFK and enlarge the wound. And, and Reed was with him there at the time. Two witnesses, the ARRB has their depositions. Were you aware of any of that? I'm aware that they were incorrect. No, no, no. They witnessed it, Jim, just as you reported what you witnessed. No, no. I mean, they probably did witness it. Uh, 